Aware is Mojo's implementation of cognitive Wi-Fi. It is a network monitoring and troubleshooting platform that uses the power of the cloud and the power of the AP at the edge to reduce or eliminate network admin intervention. In this session, we're going to talk about one of the new features of Mojo Aware, baseline graphs. Aware uses dynamic baselines instead of thresholds to track what is normal for each location, AP, or client, depending on the type of information being viewed. Thresholds are useful when there's a clear distinction between what is acceptable and not acceptable, but not very useful when looking at information that varies over time or when looking for trends. Mojo baselines use exponentially weighted moving averages to determine what is normal for the dataset. The baselines dynamically adapt as the underlying network changes over time. The calculation gives more weight to previous data points, which minimizes variation in the graph line. This provides a smooth line, which makes trends easier to identify. There are three parts to the baseline graph, the baseline, the deviation range, and observation points. The baseline is the blue line that represents the exponential weighted moving average of the data points. It shows the trend of the data and adapts as the normal network behavior changes. The deviation range is a blue band that surrounds the baseline. It shows the range that most of the data points fall within. Observations are the purple and red dots on the graph that represent the aggregation of data for a 15-minute interval. Red observation points are anomalies. These are the data points that are well outside the normal behavior and should be investigated. Baseline graphs make it easy to drill in on a particular time frame or event. When the baseline is low like this, we can expand the view of the y-axis by clicking and dragging on the graph. Click on the Reset Zoom button to return to the default view. The time frame viewed can be adjusted from the last two hours up to the last week. This is done by adjusting the drop-down time control menu at the top right of the graph. Depending on the graph, other controls are available to focus the view. Here we can view by SSID and frequency band. Another way to get a more granular view is by dragging the bars on the time range selector at the bottom of the graph. This allows you to focus on a narrow range of time. Baseline and observation point details can be seen by using the mouse to hover over the point of interest. If we zoom in on the graph, we can see the baseline and the deviation band adjust as the data points outside the deviation band are added. The deviation band widens as the data point variability increases. The baseline also adjusts as new data points are added. Its movement is tempered and smoothed by giving more weight to past events. New data points are also limited, so a single outrageous value does not dramatically skew the baseline. Eight baseline graphs have been added in the Aware 2.0 release, four for connectivity and four for performance. The baseline graph we've been looking at is the clients affected by failures. It is displayed on Aware's connectivity dashboard. It shows the failure rate of clients as they attempt to connect to the wireless network. The other connectivity baselines show the latencies of the DHCP, DNS, and AAA services when the clients connect to the network. These service latency baseline graphs can be found by going to the performance dashboard and clicking on a number in the average latency pane. Once we are in the baseline graph, we can view other graphs by selecting the drop-down menu in the graph title. The application latency graph is a performance graph that shows both wired and wireless TCP connection latencies, as well as both combined. This graph is handy when trying to determine if a performance issue is related to wireless or if it's a wired issue. The performance dashboard shows a performance baseline similar to the connection dashboard. This graph shows clients affected by poor performance. This displays the percentage of clients that experience performance problems during the time interval. The third performance baseline shows an individual client's average data rate. The data rate baseline is found on the Client Details page. To get there, click on Low Data Rate in the Client Health pane. This displays a list of clients who are experiencing low data rates. Clicking on a client takes you to the Client Details. Scroll down a bit to see the data rate baseline. The last performance baseline is the retry rate, which is viewed by AP. To get to it, select Access from the left navigation panel, then select access points from the top navigation. This provides a list of all the access points on the network. From here, select the access point you want to investigate. In the baseline pane, pull down the menu in the title bar and select retry rate percent.
I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of Mojo Aware's connectivity and performance baselines.